Welcome to another video from U.S. Maritime Academy. In this video, we will be discussing correcting the compass using the TVMDC formula. This formula would be used extensively throughout the course and on virtually every charting problem you will do from this point forward. The TVMDC formula allows you to take a true course and convert it to a magnetic course and vice versa. In other words, it allows you to take a course that is drawn on a chart and convert it to a course that you can steer from your helm. The opposite is also true. You can take a course that you're reading off your ship's compass and convert it so that you can draw it on the chart. Before we begin with the calculations, we first need to describe a couple of items that will show up in the TVMDC formula. The first is variation. Variation is the difference between true north and magnetic north expressed in degrees east or west. For the purposes of this class, we use a variation value of nine degrees west for all problems. Deviation is caused by the local magnetic disturbances aboard your ship. Things like your stereo, your bag of tools, your engine even can cause unique deviations on every vessel on different headings. This will be explained further in class, but for the purposes of these classes, we will use the deviation table shown at the bottom of each page of your yellow book. Lastly, compass error is the algebraic sum of variation and deviation expressed in degrees east or west. And a final note, you can only go to the chart with true values, and you can only get true values from the chart. Never plot a course heading directly on the chart. Work it up to true first. Now let's dive into a problem. In most TVMDC problems, you'll be given your course in either true or magnetic. In other words, a compass course. In this example, we will be using one that's taken off the chart noted by the T following the degrees. Again, for the purposes of these problems, the variation is fixed at nine degrees west. And the problem is asking you to find your PSC, or in other words, what is your course to steer by compass? To solve these problems, we first start by drawing your TVMDC on a piece of scratch paper or in your course notebook. We then proceed to fill in the pieces of information that we have in a very neat and orderly fashion. Neatness will count. So our course is given as 54 degrees true. The variation as described earlier will always be nine degrees west for these problems. So I write in nine degrees west and remember that when we're going down the formula, west is a positive value. We then add these numbers together, which will result in 63 degrees magnetic. If you need to, feel free to use a calculator. Now that we have 63 degrees computed, we need to look up that value in the deviation table to solve for the deviation value. In this case, the table shows that four degrees east is closest to our value. So we'll plug it into the problem. Remember the mnemonic, east is least and west is best. So we place a minus in the deviation value. We now simply subtract four from the 63 and our resulting PSC or compass value is 59 degrees PSC or by compass. 
Now let's take an example where we work the TVMDC formula upward, as is the case in problem number two. As always, we start by very cleanly writing out our TVMDC formula. Now, in problem number two, we are given a compass course. So this means that we need to start at the bottom and work our way to the top. You can use an arrow on the side as a little reminder. So once again, we're given a compass course of 182 degrees, PSC, which means we start at the compass. We look up 182 degrees in our deviation table, which brings us to a value of two degrees west. Remember to keep your columns aligned for easy math. Now, since we are going up, look at the top and remember that going up, east is best, west is least. So we're going to put a minus sign next to the deviation. 182 degrees minus two degrees west is 180 degrees. Now, again, we know that our variation is fixed at nine degrees west. But unlike the other problem above, it will be a minus since we are going up the formula. This results in a true course of 171 degrees. One last piece of information that these problems ask for is compass error. Compass error, as we described earlier, is the algebraic sum of variation and deviation expressed in degrees, east or west. In both of these problems, compass error is very easily obtained by simply adding our two values, variation and deviation. In this case, we have nine degrees west with minus four degrees east. Since these two values are opposite, we're going to subtract the smaller from the larger which results in five degrees, and we're going to retain the larger's value. So the answer is five degrees west. In the second problem, our compass error, once again, is using nine degrees west and two degrees west. Since the east and west values here are the same, we are going to add them together with a result of 11 degrees west.